Hello everyone, this is HDSKSKY here, back with some more Pokemon action. Thank you to everyone who liked my last video. Yes, it was the biggest epic fail of all time. Probably my biggest fail in my gaming lifetime, but we are back. We are going to recover from completely missing that boat, and uh, we're just going to continue kind of where we left off. In the last video, you guys know that I completely missed the SSN, and I didn't get to fight any of the uh, any of the Pokemon trainers on there which was kind of sad I was really upset about that but uh, anyways since then I did level up my po oh that's not very effective um, since then I did level up a couple of my Pokemon you can see on the right side that my total biscuit evolved he now has a monocle which is uh, pretty awesome if you ask me and uh, some of my other Pokemon are a little bit higher level as well and yeah, so we're gonna continue hopefully I was able to make up for some of the damage that I did in the last video as far as not being able to level up my Pokemon and all that. But seriously, big thanks to everyone who's been thumbsing up the videos. And, oh, that guy didn't have very many Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, I really definitely appreciate it. And for everyone who managed to, to put up with me being complete fail, that is super, super awesome of you guys. And we'll go ahead and switch these guys out as I do love my Kadabra. So, I just passed the Diglett Cave, and I'm going to be fighting all the trainers over here on the right side. I do recall them being, uh, there being a lot of them. I just became a trainer, but I think I can win. Alright, newbie, let's see what you got for me. Is it one of those stupid youngsters? Yeah, it is. It's probably a Rattata or a Snake or something stupid. Uh, I always sent out a Sand Shrew. I might actually want to catch one of these a little bit later. I know they are kind of in the area. And confusion. But uh, I, I couldn't help but reading through all the comments and laughing at uh, how upset a lot of people were getting at the fact that I completely missed the boat. Which is funny because even when I was a kid, I don't think I made that big of a mistake. And it's just hilarious to me that I actually managed to do that while being a grown adult. So a Zubat. Now let's just keep, let's keep, uh, let's keep my Kadabra going on here. And confusion. So hopefully when I get to the next town and the next gym trainer, I don't get completely obliterated. Which, uh, I do think I need some sort of rock-type Pokemon, which a lot of you have recommended I use my Geodude. I really don't like Geodude. That's the problem. So I'm thinking of getting a different uh, Pokemon. And anyone over here? Nope, not quite yet. How about you? You want to battle me as well, old man? Sitting here in your corner all by yourself. Win, lose, or draw? What? Sounds like a, sounds like a really bad version of Rock, Paper, Scissors. Win, lose, draw, and then everyone just goes for win. And they never actually win. Gambler. Oh, Gambler. Gambler. Gambler sent out Poliwag. Why does a Gambler have a Poliwag? Whatever, I'm confused, so let's use Confusion. Which is basically the best... Aww. Really? Really? Oh, don't fall asleep. Ah! I hate falling asleep. I guess I'll finish him off with... We can, we can use this guy, even though he's a Water-type Pokemon. He can still... He, there's like no damage left to be done here. Oh my... Okay, whew! I thought he was gonna put me to sleep again. So this guy knows bite now. And anyone gonna level up off of that? Nope. Is about to use horsey. Uh who do I want to use horsey? I can use total Teo Biscuit. There he is. And I this should be super effective if I'm remembering my counters correctly. Unfortunately he only knows Vine Whip, which has only ten uses. I should one shot him though. Oh well it's super effective still wasn't able to kill him. Yeah bubble you're gonna you're gonna water my plant. I'll I'll take that that two damage. And good old Cut. I love Cut. And I'm trying to remember what a lot of the other comments were. I, all I know is they were making me laugh a lot. So thank you guys for that. I, I definitely do read through the comments a lot. And also, lately, I have, uh, I, I wouldn't say that I've been sick. I just haven't been feeling well. And so I've been taking care of myself and, uh, you know, making sure you get lots of sleep, all that good stuff. As I was, I was, at, I was at some events with a lot of people. And I, I tend not to feel great after events with lots of people because there's just so many people there and my body's like, oh dear god, all of the germs. And uh, I'm still asleep. I wonder if I should just wait for him to wake up. Alright, hopefully he wakes up pretty soon. What I want to know is why he just is staying asleep this whole time. Are you going to... Okay, cool. He can wake up during that, hopefully. Uh, he better wake up. How do you sleep through this? Really? Really? How do you sleep through this? How do you sleep through something like this? I have a feeling that if I was asleep and a giant plant crawled into my bed, there we go, if a giant plant crawled into my bed and wrapped himself around me, that I would definitely wake up from that. I don't care how crazy of a night it was. Apparently confusion on plants is super effective. And about to use Oddish. 
I would assume that it's still going to be super effective. We're about to find out, though. Oh, he's so cute. Let's kill it. Let's get that experience. And, oh, it's super effective. Good job, man. You are on. Yes, level 22. That's what I'm talking about. Got to get these levels as quickly as possible. Just because... Uh... Yeah. I, I kind of missed something like 16 trainers or something like that. My Pokemon should be ready by now. All right, youngster. What have, what have you got for me? Uh, well, he looks a lot like me. And he wants to fight Nidoran. Sounds like a job for confusion, Ray. So I also, I'm trying to remember if after the last video, if I got the, um... Oh, it's super effective as well. God, he's so good, just like Protoss. But, um, I'm trying to remember if I got the fishing rod since the last video. Oh, I didn't see what Pokemon it was. Oh, Nidorino. Should be able to take this out, no problem. Uh, because fishing rod's really good. You can catch a a fish for the, uh, God, what's his name? Magikarp. You can catch him, turn him into a giant Gyarados. Gyarados? I never knew the correct way of saying that. Too much, too young. I, I don't really know what that means, but that kid just said it to me. Kids these days. All right, am I forgetting anyone? I think there's there's definitely people I haven't engaged here, I feel like. Let's see, you guys already battled all of you. Already went that way. Aha! This guy's looking quite handsome. Let's see what he's got. Careful, I'm laying down some... Cape? You're, you're laying down some cables? Oh my! What? You do not use wrenches on cables. But he wants to fight anyway. Ah, Magnemite. I don't think we've seen one of these yet. This Pokemon always confused me, because Magnemite's like the rich kid uh, Pokemon, where it's like, you know, I didn't... Oh, that better not confuse me. That just does damage, right? That's not going to kill me. Ow, that almost did kill me. Uh, let's try bringing out... Electric's not good versus plants, right? Am I remembering this correctly? But it's like, well, you know, I, I'm the top 1%. I don't need to catch Pokemon. I can just buy them. Uh, let's try wrap. That's a that's a pretty good generic spell. Or ability, I should say. I don't think you really call them spells in Pokemon. Oh, it missed! I'm gonna get tackled. Come on, Total Biscuit. Pull it together. So I've been trying to figure out who I want to complement my team to fight the next trainer. And I'm thinking Sandshrew's pretty cool. I know there's one of those around. Total Biscuit gained 100. Yes! Total Biscuit has grown in cynicalness. All right, go back to laying down cables, dog. That was el rip. That was electric. That's he's probably been waiting his entire life to say that. Uh, did I fight this guy yet? Nope. I have never won. Did you say I've never won before? Where's Where's this guy's confidence? You're not a very good gambler. He He did say I've never won before, right? Oh, a Growlithe. I, that's one of my favorite Pokemon. I should actually catch one of those now that I think about it. Uh, which Pokemon's not going to get completely owned? Idra, of course. There we go. Well, let's give him the old water gun. The old squirty squirty. Aha, roar. More like water gun. Should be able to kill him off. What? Come on. My Pokemon are so bad if they can't one-shot a Growlithe. All right, you want to bite me? I'll bite you. What do you got? What do you got for me next? Oh, I got a level 23. That's pretty awesome. Gambler is about to use Vulpix. Hmm. I can't remember. That's not a fire type, though, right? That's like one of those neutral. Eh, we'll, we'll fight him anyways. Cool tails, brah. Eat my bubble beam. I can't remember if this is super effective versus him or not. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, what's he going to say? I saw this coming. God, you, you got to have confidence in gambling. Especially like poker. Wait, is there, I don't want to go on the grass quite yet. I'll go play with you guys in just a second. I want to make sure I clear out all the roads first. I already talked to you, right? Spread the word to save energy. Oh, he's a green engineer. Watch out for live wires. Why is everyone talking about wires? Is this an engineer? Is this another engineer? Really? Yep. Well, they have cute matching hats, that's for sure. All right, what's he got? Oh, another Magnemite. Uh, well, who's... I can't remember what's super effective versus these guys. 
So let's go with it. no. He's electric. We'll bring out bring out Total Biscuit. Haven't seen you in a while, Total Biscuit. I wish every time I brought him out, a top hat would appear on him. That would be that would be awesome. Let's see. I don't think let's, let's use some sleep powder. I don't know how you put a mechanical Pokemon to sleep. Maybe you hit like the sleep button. Or actually, the only way to lead, to put a a mechanical Pokemon to sleep is to just don't use him for 10 to 15 minutes. And then he'll he'll fall asleep. Let's go ahead and continue this wrap here. And I was trying to think, maybe you guys can help me out in the comments. I was trying to think of what I could do to uh, add to the little portraits on the right side. Because, of course, we're, we're going to keep Total Biscuit till the end of the game. Jesse Cox I'm undecided on. Because I don't know if I really want a Jigglypuff all the way to the end of the game. Um... But I, I definitely am going to keep my War Turtle. That's of course is Idra, and my Kadabra. I'm definitely going to keep. But the ones that may get changed out at some point are going to be my Pidgey, maybe, and my my Jigglypuff, maybe. Of course, these are the evolved versions, but whatever. And uh, also my Geodude. I'm probably going to switch out. But for the other ones, I'm trying to think of what I can actually do to. I don't know, kind of spice up their little icons a bit. I, I love the Total Biscuit one I have going on. I'm going to be honest, that's probably my favorite one. I forget, is Vine Whip good against you or no? Uh, no. No, it is not. Not good at all. Go ahead and wrap him up. Hopefully this will, this will seal the deal. I love wrap. It's so good. Especially for killing off these trainers. Because it's like, oh, your Pokemon can't actually do anything. That's really sad for you. Should be able to finish him off with a cut. Give him the good old one, two. Magnemite fainted. 342 experience, but no levels. Magneton. Who do I got that's going to be good against him? No, Electric's going to get owned. Uh, or the bird will get owned. Uh, I should have done this differently. Whatever. We're going to continue fighting. Fighting the good fight. This is like the ultra, ultra rich kid Pokemon. This is like the, uh, the kid who gets all... Oh my god, he has so much HP. The kid who gets all the Lego sets, all the coolest nerf guns. This guy has a lot of HP. Oh my goodness, this ability is doing like no damage. Whole thing is chain these back to back till he dies. I feel like feel like Rap needs a little bit of a nerf here. And then again, I'm level 22 and he's level 18, so uh, I, if I can get this back to back again, oh, it missed. That's really sad. Oh, Thundershock, ow. Is that, that's not that effective versus me, right? Okay. I did remember this correctly. Let's try Cut. Is that going to be enough to kill him in two hits? Uh, yep. Should be. No, keep using keep using Thundershock. Be that guy. He doesn't know anything about counters like me, actually. Oh, that was some fat experience. Tobiski is trying to learn Stun Spore. Uh, being stunned isn't as good as being asleep, though. Um, let me, let me see which ones I have. Let's see. So I like Sleep Powder, Vine Whip, Wrap, and Cut. No, I'm not gonna. I don't need Stump Spore. That's not nearly as good. Sleep Powder's where it's at. Whoa, you spark plug! Why? You should not say that to young kids. That's that's all I have to say about that. I also want to say in my last video, it was hilarious. Wahaha, <laughs> I've never lost. Well, you should go play that guy who never wins, because then you'll keep winning. I meant to say, Misty is too old, not too young. So my apologies in the last video. It was, it was quite hilarious reading through all the comments. I was like, oh, that awkward moment when. All right, here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and win with this guy because I keep forgetting to use my potion. So hopefully this kills him in one hit. Oh, so close. Is that going to kill me off? I really hope not. I ah, gosh darn it. All right, let's switch him out for... I'm going to use Total Biscuit quite a bit because he's going to be good versus the, uh, the upcoming gym, if I do recall correctly. Oh, that if that kills me, I'm going to be such a sad panda. Whew. All right, I should be able to finish him off here. Down he goes. Gambler's about to use Magnemite. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use I'm going to use Intra. And you guys may, you may make fun of me, but I don't think his Pokemon's going to have an electric attack. I really hope not anyways. That's what I'm banking on. Let's try Mega Punch. How's that gonna work for me? Yeah. Oh, nice! That that went better than expected. And level 25. 
I am raking in the levels. Hopefully making up a little bit for my complete, utter failure from the last video. My first loss. Uh, let's switch out... I think I want my leader Pokemon to be... Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and go with Hydra. Oh, I switched him with the Cell. Alright, there we go. Uh, you, you want to battle? It's just chilling in the grass. I'm in the best... I'm the best in my class? At Pokemon? You guys really are training Pokemon in school now? I don't know about that. Alright, oh, Rattata. We are still fighting these, huh? Uh, I guess it's time to make a punch that stupid smile off your Rattata's face. This guy's gonna be like the easiest one out of all of them. It's about to use Rattata. Oh! You're, you're the best in your class at what? Catching mice? Is it like a family business or something? Oh, Hyperfang. Hyperfang! Take him out. Take him out! Nice! Let me guess, another Rattata. Here we go. Oh, Eradicate. Same thing. This is just a, a fatter Rattata who's grown bottom teeth. That's really the only difference. Ah, critical hit. You got lucky this time, says my female Idra. Quick Attack is so good. I love Quick Attack. Oh, I don't love missing my Mega Punches, though. There we go. Easy for Breezy. Alright, any Pokemon over This looks like where an item would be. Oh, yeah, the Escape Rope. It Pro tip, if you're going to hide an item, don't hide it in such an obvious place. Alright, I think that's all the trainers here. Let's go ahead and continue on this way. Sup, security guard, what do you got for me? When you catch lots of Pokemon, isn't it hard to think up names? In Labrador Town, there's a man who rates Pokemon nicknames. He'll help you rename them, too. What? Don't be rating my Pokemon names. They're all good. Okay, this looks like there would be an item somewhere in here. Oh, and there is. Hyper Potion. So predictable. Oh, no, it's a Snorlax! Oh, Fatty McSnorlaxon is uh, kind of blocking my way, which, don't I need a flute or something? Oh well, that means we have to backtrack a little bit. Uh, so I think I've fought all these, oh wait, what about you, have I fought you? Yeah, I fought him. He was the guy who was like, use green energy. I'm like, okay, dad. Um, so I think I fought all these guys, so hopefully this helped out a little bit. As far as catching back up to where I'm supposed to be. Alright, so I guess we are going to... I'll go heal my Pokemon. You guys also pointed out that I completely missed the Pokemon Center here. Which I don't know how I did that, but it is indeed right here. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and heal up. Which, unfortunately, if I found this place, I would have totally been able to clean out the boat. But indeed, it was not meant to be. But that's because we're playing hard mode Pokemon! Alright, let's see, uh, I think this is the fishing guy. Did I get a rod from him? I can't remember. I'm the fishing guru, I simply love fishing. Do you like fishing? Oh, yeah! Oh, no, I, I love it. Mm. Husky- Ah! This guy's like, take this young one and have fun. And then it says, Husky receives old rod. I'm not even gonna comment on that. Fishing is a way of life from the seas rivers. Go on, the big one, young one. Okay, I'm getting kinda creeped out by him calling me a young one. So let's put my fishing rod up towards the top. My old rod, excuse me. Uh, let's see, put this right there. Yeah, we still have to... It, this isn't the fancy Pokemon, you actually have to click on everything you want to use. Alright, let's let's just see. Let's just see if my old rod gets me Magikarp. Is this a Magikarp? If you're not a Magikarp, I all of a sudden don't care about you. Oh my god, it's so huge! I do not recall Magikarp being this large. Oh god, how am I supposed to do so little damage? Wait, I don't even think I have any Pokeballs, do I? Uh, no I don't. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna fight him just for the sake of killing a level 5 Magikarp. That's, that's gonna be some good experience. Woo, 14! Alright, let's go, uh, let's go buy some Pokeballs. Uh, where are you at, Pokemart? There you are. Alright, so maybe my level 10 Geodude can do it. Let's see. Uh, what am I doing? That's the wrong button. There we go. Hi there, my help you. Wait, can I sell? Do I sell my nugget? Uh, yes, sell the nugget. That was also a recommendation you guys gave me. And antidote, hyper potion, awakening. Let's buy some Pokeballs. 
Pokeball, that'll be one million dollars. Super Potion. I think I'm gonna save till next town. All right, let's try, let's try this now. I, I just wanna see if I can actually do it. Pokemon, who's my lowest level? Is it my Geodude? All right, Geodude, you better not one-shot this freaking Pokemon. Uh, old Rod, let's do it. Let's see what this these waters have to offer. Man, I remember as a kid when I used to look up Pokemon strategies online and they would all be lies. Like, oh, fish 10,000 times to get a Squirtle. And I was like, God, gosh darn it. I didn't realize so I was getting trolled until a lot later. Okay, let's see if Tackle... Oh no, Splash! Oh, no effect. Okay, don't one-shot. Don't you dare one-shot it. Don't you... Uh, let's try... Let's try this. We're, we're gonna try spicing it up here. Alright, Total Biscuit. Put it to sleep. Otherwise, it's gonna keep splashing around like an idiot. Sleep powder! Oh, it didn't affect him. Alright, we'll, we'll try it again. We'll go for some more sleep powder. There we go. Nothing like fighting a fish out of water while it's asleep. All right, come on, lucky Pokeball. Where are you at? All right, if we can't catch a sleeping fish that is out of water, then I give up. Yes! Magikarp was caught. I'm totally going to replace someone with Magikarp. Don't even care what anyone says. Although I really shouldn't because I've already got a water Pokemon, huh? Mm, tough call. Let me know in the comments. You guys think I should use Gyarados or should I just not? Try not do it. Oh, I'm eating a, eating a Haichu. In distant past, it was, it was somewhat stronger than the horribly weak descendants that exist today. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him yet, so... Oh my god, this Haichu is so chewy. Imagine that. Alright, bicycle. I should not eat during videos. This, this probably sounds terrible. Alright, I finished my Haichu. We are going through the Diglett Cave. Oh, I brought out a level 10 Pokemon. Uh... Alright, we'll switch him out. Full Teo Biscuit. He should be able to handle himself here. This is actually where I, uh, I leveled up a lot of my guys while I... How is he faster than you? He's level 17, Teo Biscuit, you are so slow. I just want to be known. That Total Biscuit is slow. Um, this is what- Oh, great. My Geodude did end up leveling up. And learned a new ability. Geodude, I'm not keeping you! You can- you can try as hard as you want, but I'm not gonna keep you. I think there's only a 5% chance to get a Doug Trio here. Which I- I would probably try and catch that if I did. God, I forgot to- Alright, let's- Let's bring out Jesse Cox. Come on, Jesse Cox, show me what you got. Oh, use Growl. What am I ever to do? Okay, but he's still growling at me. Come on, sing better work. Jesse Cox has such a soothing voice, don't you think? Let's just let's just run away. What? What? You can't escape from a sleeping Pokemon that doesn't have legs? Whatever. Whatever. Oh, I apparently taught Water Gun to Jesse Cox, so that's gonna be. That's going to be quite useful in this situation. Except to use Growl a million times, so it's not doing very much damage. Alright, number one, switch out my level 10 Poke- Oh, if he levels up again. Okay. I don't- I don't want him, so... Let's see, let's- let's switch him out for... My awesome Pokemon. Who is now kind of my new main- my main homie. Now, once we get to the next town, I may stop the video here, as I did level up my Pokemon quite a bit. Although, I don't know how long I've actually been playing, because I don't have a timer. And I forgot to check what time it was when I started. But, I we, we had a good chat, right? It, it's been fun. We managed to catch up our Pokemon levels a little bit. Closer-ish to where they should be. Still not quite where they should be. But, uh, I, I definitely am going to be training quite a bit. To try and get them back up to par. Because they are definitely under-leveled right now. These wild Pokemon are almost my level. And that ain't, that ain't no good sign, man. These guys are worth quite a few experience, though. Uh, I should be near the end. This is like the easiest cave ever. And what's up, Mr. Diglett? 
I'm, I'm going to add you to my collection of dead diglets, so I don't know why you decided to attack me. Can you imagine if real life was like this, where you're like walking in a field and you get attacked every five seconds? God, that would be, that would be horrible. That would be the worst. It'd be like, oh, here I am at the beach. Oh my God, it's like fish with a horn attacking me. And you're like, oh, I'm running through a field with my dog playing fetch. Oh my God, why are these rats so angry at me? I'd say you're walking through a cave, but that doesn't happen very often. The, I, I would say the majority of people don't don't spend a lot of time walking through caves. All right, what, what do you have for me? I went to Rock Tunnel, but it's dark and scary. If a Pokemon's flash could light it up. Ah, I see. I see where you're where you're getting at. Diglett's Cave. Okay, where where actually did we end up? I'm, I actually have no idea where we are. Okay, there's a little weed cutter that I can cut later. Um, where where the balls am I? I have no idea where this came out. Um, here's a little house. What, what have you got for me? A fainted Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use moves like cut. What, really? That's good to know. Hey, sup, kid, playing Game Boy. I'm looking for Abra. Want to trade one for Mr. Mime? No! No, get away from my Abra. It took me so long to catch him. Maybe you should go outside. Uh, Pokemon. Total Biscuit cut. I guess I get it on my bike. Bikes are pretty cool, except he doesn't wear a helmet, so this is teaching kids horrible habits. Okay, so this goes down there. I kind of wonder what's up here, though. No, that's just another way to go. We're going this way. Screw it. We're going this way. Guns are blazing Not sure if it's the right way, but it's the way we're going. Uh, sup, fools? Once Pokemon learns Flash, you can get through Rock Tunnel. Okay. Who's going to teach me Flash? Hi, remember me? I'm Professor Oak's aid. If you got 10 times Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an HMO5. Uh, sure. Oh, I've caught 13. Whew. That was close. Is this Flash? Please tell me it's Flash. Yes! Ugh! Light. Okay. So I gotta teach HMO5 to someone. Uh, where you at? There it is. Use. Who's gonna learn Flash? Jesse Cox is just all over these abilities. This cat's gonna learn more moves. Yes, let's delete something for sure. Not sing. Si I don't know. I'm not that impressed with Seismic Toss. Um, I mean, I think it's a good ability later. But let's get rid of Seismic Toss. One, two, and poof. Jesse Cox forgot Seismic Toss, and now he knows Flash. All right, so now my uh, my Jesse Cox is the best Brood War player of all time, who is now transitioning into StarCraft 2. Oh, Pokeball. Plus he found HP up. I always forget what that does. L let me know in the comments what that does. Does it actually increase their HP? I think that's what it does. Is it gives them higher HP. Plus he found a moonstone. Very interesting. All right, so there's lots of weeds over here. Let's let's just keep, let's just start hacking away. Let's do some chores. Jesse Cox, I need you to cut this down for me. Oh no, I wanted to... Why, why'd you change my music? I, I was listening to that. Oh, that's just the way to come down from above. All right, let's, let's just see what Pokemon's in here. I mean, we gotta have a couple of random encounters, man. You are not playing an old, oh. Oh, oh, a uh, This is a level three. <sighs> All right, well, that was fun. So evidently we've ended up somewhere a very low level. And what is this? Oh, that, that would explain it. That definitely explains. Let's let's go back to where the big boys play. I was like, oh, cool, a random encounter. It's a level three rat. All right, let's continue on. Oh, apparently this is a dead end. Well, I learned Flash, so I don't know if that helps me or not. But it, I imagine that it would. So I'm guessing now that I'm going to be finding this cave that everyone's talking about. Not actually quite sure where this cave is, but oh, it changes when you get on your bike. I'm really sad about that. Because that song was actually pretty awesome. Okay, that's the cave I came in. That's a different way to go. Uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. Because I'm not sure exactly off the top of my head where to go. But I did get Flash. And I'm going to be figuring it out for the next video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for tolerating my extreme messiness and playing throughout this. This is, of course, just a playthrough for fun. So if you want the best playthroughs that are out there for Pokemon, 
I mean, go watch someone like Chugga Conroy, because he knows everything about Pokemon, while I am a super duper noob. But uh, please, thumbs up the video if you guys like it. It helps me out a lot, and I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time!